Lord. Uh, you're staring at the jar of peanut butter, chocolate chip cookies, trying not to eat all of them. You know, it's it's tough. It's tough when you got good cookies. It's tough to not eat all of them. You got to practice that willpower, like I practice every time I rage at FTL. It's the willpower to not rage more. So, the only two ships we have left on lock are, of course, the Crystal B, one of the most OP ships in the game, and the Stealth C. So, we got to start off with possibly the hardest ship in the game to get consistent wins with on hard mode, no pause, and that's the Stealth B. This is still a... I like this ship. I've said this, I think, many times. I really like the Stealth B, but it can be tough. Man, I sure wish uh, Monday's run where I got... Uh, jump to pre-igniter I could have saved for this run right here uh, that is like the best thing you could get on the stealth B we already established your stream is ASMR type <laughs> YouTube recommended your dual pre-ignited glade beam run from some time ago oh yeah that's it's by far my most watched video that is that the kind of the success of that video is what convinced me to be consistent with actually uploading to YouTube the double pre-ignited glaive beam Pre-ignited double glade beam one shot on the boss. That's a crazy run. So, you're back after a long absence. Good to be back, Rand. Nice one, Dragon Lord. Well, I'm glad to see you again. Glad you're here. You're here for the stealth B. The more I play this ship, the harder I think it is to to play. Um, I'm trying to like decide. Like somebody on YouTube was asking, like, how do you win with this ship? It's it's uh. Like, cause, cause the 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 issue with this ship is, you know, you gotta spend your first fifty scrap on either a uh, a weapon value point or level three cloaking. I prefer to get level three cloaking, but then you need to get shields. I think what a lot of experienced players do is they get level three cloaking and then they look they look for hacking. They don't even worry about shields. They look for hacking, cause with hacking that solves kind of your uh, offensive problem having to get another weapon. So it's probably it's probably I need to get. Get the third cloaking and then hacking first, so... Oh, wow, an unavoidable asteroid as my first what a start. Well, this is probably going to be a reset pretty quickly. That was the first video I watched, the uh, double pregnant glade beam, yeah. You've been hooked ever since. Nice, Borsi, I'm glad to hear that. All right, let's see what happens with the unavoidable asteroid field right from the beginning. I'm going to guess death. I'm going to guess death, okay. Purposefully not cloaking that. Okay, double fire my O2. It's a great start. Okay, there it is. Okay, I was waiting for the double shot. And we cloak. He was going. Oh, both lasers were going for my weapons. <laughs> All right, two, four. Okay, so this will kill him. All right, so if the asteroid field doesn't kill us, we should be okay here. Okay. Okay, that's a good Dumble Doge. Got to fix my O2. Do 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 Okay. All right. Great. I got to go right up for a ship fight right after this. So if I get boarded on this next ship fight, it's going to be really bad. Okay. Oh, shit. That's bullshit. I was purposefully... Ah, that's some bullshit right there. I was ready to leave, but I I was waiting for the last asteroid hit, and it, like, was instantaneous from above. F you, FTL. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, right into another ship fight. Okay. Man, what a rough, rough start, but okay. That's, that's FTL for you. Okay, all right. Let's hope we don't die here. Just don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. There's a ship, there's a rock, who cares, don't die. I don't want to die, don't let me die. Here it comes. Cloak it. Yep. Yeah. Alright, 80% dodge, not enough, not enough. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, alright. I think we survived the forced, our, uh, forced asteroid dive. Sector 1. I think we survive it, but my god, what a rough start. FTL's like, I'm not making your last two ship unlocks. Easy, man. We got, we, we kind of have shields, Captain. Yeah, I know. Uh, hey, what's up, Ramses? Guess what I received in the mail today. Uh, what did you receive in the mail today? Um, 
I don't know. Uh, are you in the U.S.? The, the census thing? I know they're taking the census thing in the U.S. I don't know what you, what you get in the mail today. How can I? I don't know. You've stumped me. You have stumped me. It's like, it's like when Frodo and Gollum have a, a, uh, in The Hobbit, they have a riddle competition. And the way Bilbo wins is by saying, what do I have in my pocket? <laughs> How can you possibly, possibly guess that? I don't know. You're not in the U.S. Uh, what did you receive in the mail? Oh, the FF7 remake? Really? That's out? Oh my gosh. What's up, Kenny? I didn't know that was out already. That's awesome. Okay, quest. All right, I can... Hopefully I can get the level 2 or level 3 cloaking soon here. FF7 remake. Let me guess. You're playing it right now, or you should be if you're not. What's wrong with you? <laughs> That's awesome, though. Okay. Your poor social life. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> That's right. Oh, wait, never mind. Such a thing no longer exists. Perfect timing for it, too. All right, here comes the missile. And go laser. There it is. That's going from my weapons. Oh, it's actually going from my cloaking. Okay. Okay, that was really good. Actually, what we want to do is this, this, and this. So the human tanks it because Zoltan's lower in health. I think this is a one shot. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Yes, we have enough for the level three cloaking. Beautiful. Wasn't it the demo? Yeah, you just played the first mission so far. You're blown away. Is it only the demo, or is it the full game? It seems like a weird thing to just receive a demo in the mail. All right, all right, there it is. There is level three cloaking. Um, the problem with level three cloaking is I don't have the power for it. However, it's still very, very useful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we could probably do that. The nostalgia hit you immediately because they re remade all the original music. It should be the full game, nice. He's got drone control, so if that's an offensive drone, we're screwed, so we have to go free scrap. Well, that's awesome, Ramses. I would love to see you stream it. <laughs> uh, it's not a great deal. I'll not take that. Yeah, I didn't know it was, uh, the full game was out either. So you received it in the mail. Are you playing? Is it like on PS4 or PC or what, what, what platform? One, two, three four, five, six. Okay. PS4. Is that going to be on PC? Because I don't have a PS4, I don't think. I think I have a PS3, which it's probably not on. Oh, that's a... That's a big old mini beam. Okay. Okay, they're trying to run. Alright, so the plan is, I think... I think heavy laser fires before the mini beam. So we level 3 cloak as soon as that fires. That might have been the wrong way of doing this. Ugh, I fucking hate you, FTL. 75% dodge. Fucking hits my weapons with level 3 cloaking. Fucking FTL, man. Bullshit. That right there is why this ship is bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. I should have cloaked. I should have cloaked earlier and just not even let him get a shot off. God damn you, FTL. Freaking hell, man. And then the mini beam's gonna hit my weapons. Okay, it doesn't, but second, uh, second heavy laser probably will. God damn it, FTL. Okay, he didn't hit me with that shot. Mini beam probably will though. And he's yeah, and then he's just gonna get out. That right there is why this ship is shitty. That is why this ship is shitty. Right there. Fucking hell, man. Hate this fucking game, man. Such bullshit. That's why this ship is one of the worst. That's why this ship is one of the worst in the game for hard mode and even hard mode no pause. Absolute 100% bullshit. Uh, two out of his four shots hit my weapons, I think. Restart. Yeah, we're pretty low. Maybe. Let me see. Let me see what the quest is. If the quest is like a free weapon or something, it might be worth sticking this out. 
Let me let me finish this sector, and if I don't get something amazing, we'll probably restart. Because we had a pretty good start. I got I got level three stealth pretty early. I think I misplayed that. I think I should have. Um, I think I should have uh, cloaked earlier because the level three cloaking. <sighs> I don't know. I think the only two weapons that can still allow them to fire when you have level three cloaking because they charge fast enough are actually heavy laser and mini beam. And that guy literally had both of those. So I think cloaking before the heavy laser might have been slightly better, but I, I don't even know that that would have been a guarantee to not take damage there. Quest is 27 scrap. You know exactly. Official release date is tomorrow. My guess is they sent out the copies of Day Alert because of Easter. Nice, Ramses. Well, that's awesome. Okay, we're going to go one, two, three, four here. All right. Okay, so I'm going to do what I should have done before, and that is we just immediately cloak. Before things charge, just immediately cloak. I'll take both his weapons offline. And we'll find out. I don't think... I don't think the mini beam will fire in time when you do this, but it still might because these are like the fastest charging one power weapons in the game that every single weapon is starting with, uh, enemy is starting with. I think if I hit his weapons first like I'm doing, it shouldn't fire. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I should have done on the previous fight. I should have just immediately cloaked. Fast as a swarm at six seconds. Uh, okay, yeah, or... Charge laser, I guess. But swarm is two power. I did say fastest one power weapons. I did say that, Kenny. <laughs> so I don't think I was wrong. But you're right. Swarm is swarm is faster, but it's not a it's not a one power weapon. Okay. So we're just gonna immediately cloak it. Immediately cloak should make so they don't get any damage off. But you're right. Swarm is fastest. Uh, is charge. Can they have a charge laser one? They can, right? So that's like around the same as Swarm, isn't it? I think that's around the same. Charge is two is, charge two is four seconds. Okay. Ah, see? Look at that. He actually did get the ion shot off even when it, I mean, he went for my weapons. But we didn't get us in time. Still. Oh, man. Even level three cloaking doesn't guarantee it. That if they have fast weapons, which literally every... Yeah, fight we've had so far has been that. All right, uh, this could be a store. You think charge two is four? I don't. I don't know if it's four. I don't think it's quite that fast. Uh, it's a small research station that could make me. You know what? We might be restarting anyway. Let's investigate. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right, well, that was a repair for missiles. So, you know what? I would say that's worth not restarting for. We got our level 3 cloaking. I can afford some power. With that free repair, and we have an NG sector, I think this is worth continuing on. Okay, I'd really like to get power. However, we're pretty close to hacking. All right, since we have two ship fights, I'm going to go for one power. Just let's just do this. We're going to try to do a slightly different thing that I usually do. I usually try to save it for shields. I think I'm going to try to find hacking over the shields here. Abandoned sector waiting room. Great, Kenny. Great. Okay. So this will be two and then 369. That's 11 damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we have just enough. We'll go ahead and cloak now. Yeah, salvageable because of the free repair, for sure. Free, well, not free, but like five missiles for ten repair is just an amazing deal. So, we're going to definitely take that. I normally prefer to move to switch these guys around, but since I didn't at first, I don't like having the Sultan and weapons, but... Beautiful. Okay. Ban is better than Zoltan or Rock for this loadout. I don't know about Rock. Uh, better than Zoltan, I would say yes. Because, I mean, we have cloaking. Rocks can resist, but they don't have Zoltan shields. And Zoltan shields is really the big counter to this ship, I would say. Or lots of drones. Even NGs could be scary if they have, like, offensive drones, but... Okay, okay, quest marker. And it's the very next jump. Okay, I like that. 
And it's free stuff. I really like that. All right, two stores. I'd have to sell long range scanners to get hacking if they had it, because hacking's 80. What else could I get? I could get a flak. I couldn't afford shields. <sighs> the double store right here, I think, is a tarp, actually. Because selling long range scanners is definitely a tarp on the ship. So we're going to skip the stores. Do you think an augment that either extends cloak time or reduces cooldown time would be balanced? Um, I feel like it serves the same purpose as upgrading your cloaking, so no, not really, Gildnario. Okay, now I have enough scrap for cloaking, or not cloaking, hacking, so now I'll check the store. Automated Reloader is a very good second glaive beam. That is a trap. Please don't tell me to get second glaive beam right now. That is such a big trap. Do it, Kenny says. I'm actually thinking about the automated reloader. Because anything that uh, shortens the charge time of glaive beam is so good. All right, we're doing automated reloader. Take the second glaive, do it. I'm not doing it. I, I would have to sell long range scanners. I already said I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. Sell your, sell my glaive beam and get that one. Whoa, well, there you go, Kenny. There's your favorite weapon, free swarm missile. Okay. Okay. There we go. Um, it's actually not bad with the glaive beam because you can shoot shields when they have level two shields. Getting it online is, of course, a pain in the ass because I got to spend 125 scrap. So. I'm, if I if hacking is in the store, I'll probably sell it for hacking. Honestly, double pregnant glaive run approaches. Yeah, yeah, right. Secure the cash. Okay. Too bad I sold all my missiles. I didn't sell them. I traded them for repairs. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So this will be this will be a one shot. Swarm has seven second reload. So it was uh, one second longer than you said. Although I do have uh, automated reloader and a guy on weapon, so it's probably around six seconds with the increased or with the sped up upgrades. Offer me an NG, I'll let you live. Uh, six missiles. That's actually not a bad deal. Um, I'm about to go to a store, and if they have hacking, I probably want more scrap than that. He was offering me 10. I got 13 and two missiles with some fuel. It's probably better. Okay. Get like all these asteroid fields. Yo, dog, I heard you got no shields. How would you like to hang out in an asteroid field? Ah, damn, no hacking. Oh, if I swell, sell the swarm missile, I can get shields, though. Right? Damn, what do I do? What do I do here? I really did want to get the hacking. I do like getting shields, though. I do like getting shields on this ship. I know, Kenny doesn't want me to sell the Swarm Missile, of course. All right, I'm going to do what I normally do, and I'm going to get shields, since I can afford it. I don't love this going into Sector 2, because having an offensive upgrade like hacking can be so good. But I'm going to do it. If I go here, I'm diving. So, sorry. Sorry, there goes the swarm missile. I know, so sad, Kenny. So sad. Alright, distress beacon. How about it's a pirate ship that I can cut the ship out? No, it's giant alien spiders. Okay, I'm not gonna... I can't, I can't risk crew now. This run kind of has a chance. Because I have an automated reloader and I have shield going to sector 3. That's a terrible deal. And another NG sector is good. I wish I had NG for blue options, though. Okay. Well, Kenny, because I sold the Swarm Missile, I'm probably got about to get punished. So, you can be happy about but the punishment. Two shields, flak, heavy laser? Yeah, let's go ahead and take free scrap. How about that? All right, store. I would have to sell something to get anything. So, I think we skipped that store. Uh, boy, you guess you just won Bannerlord now? Well, what happened? Try to shield the ship with ours? Alright, 13 free scrap, I'll take it. 
Okay, so what am I looking for? I need to buy fuel. I need, um... Still need hacking, honestly. Hacking's what we need. Hacking is like the one system that would basically make this run... ...have offense. So I guess we have to get him scrapped to get hacking. Uh, see, 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 no. Thank you so much for follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, my friend. That's a, that's a good deal. So if I get enough scrap, then I can go one, two, three, or one, two, three, four. We could possibly, possibly get hacking if they have it at that store. There it is. Carefully cut that ship out. Okay. So I need 19 scrap. Nineteen scrap before the store, and we need the store to have hacking, and then we have a run on our hands. Hail them! I mean, if we get hacking, that's good. But I need I need the scrap to be able to buy it. Man, I might have to sell Automated Reloader if the store has hacking. And I, oh my god! <laughs> Didn't buy second glaive beam. Game's like Rand. You're gonna take the second glaive beam, and you're gonna like it. <laughs> what the hell? All right. I mean, I mean, it is a second glade beam, but you know what it takes to get that online? 190, 265, 315 scrap to get that online. Use it! <laughs> oh, God. I, if I get the hacking, we basically have our endgame build, but we're just actually behind on scrap. There was ever a morale boost? I just don't know, man. I don't. How how are we gonna get this online? He's got. He has hacking, so I have to sell either glade beam or automated reloader to get it. I, I guess do I sell the automated reloader to keep the double glaive? God, that that feels like the wrong the wrong build. What's more rare? Definitely the glade beam is more rare. All right, all right, I won't sell it. I honestly think this is the wrong play, but here we go. There it is. So now I need power. Now I need power. Because we, like, have no power. Um, do I buy fuel? No, I have 12 drone parts. All right. This is actually kind of an incredible start for this ship. About as good as we can get without getting, like, a free... Free, uh, pre-igniter. Sure, have some fuel. Give me some scrap. Map. Just complete. All that map did was show us one distress. Frickin' wasted fuel. One, two, three, four. It did, it, it may look, it may be the wrong choice, but it feels right. My, 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 my head says no, but my, my body, my body says yes. All right, 31 free scrap. Okay, I'll take that. All right, so what's the next goal? Our next goal is, I think it has to be power. As much as I want like tech and shield, I think it needs to be power. So I'm gonna actually just get one more power. Risky tactics? Risky? I don't know if risky's, I mean, keeping the glade beam I think is risky. But the payoff, the payoff, that's what we're looking for here. So what we do is we actually Cloak now. We hack their shields. Uh, cloak. Oh god, if he hacks my weapons, we're like screwed. We are 100% screwed if he hacks my weapons. Actually, we hit his weapons first here. I don't know if this timing is exactly right. Okay. Great. I had intruded my hacking after I've already hacked. I'm cool with that. Okay. That wasn't great timing. Timing the glaive beam with a level one hacking is actually pretty tough in my opinion. Okay, he didn't hit my weapons. Although now he could hit my weapons and screw me the hell out here. Screw me the hell out. Please, please, please don't miss missile my weapons. God damn it. Fuck you, FTL. God damn it, man. 
that's such bullshit. Alright, he's not on piling, so we still hopefully will be okay with one shield and level three cloaking. God, I hope so. I should have done a different swipe. Oh, he went for my weapons and I didn't have my guy in doges there. Oh, he might get out just because of how long this charge time is, man. Just gonna hack, doesn't really matter. Come on, come on, come on, don't let him out, don't let him out. Come on, come on. Got him! Okay. I should have, I should have done a different swipe there. I think that was misplay by me on the swipe that I did. Should have hit the shields and then the more rooms I would have one-shot him. I was trying to take his weapons offline and with hacking I thought I would be okay. But it's just, it's hard to, it's hard to time the hacking with level one hacking and a 25 second freaking charge time weapon. Uh, now I want a free pre-igniter make the RNG perfect. We had one of those on Monday. I'm seriously doubting we get one today. I'm a loose cannon. I'm a loose cannon. What is this? Because I'm making making crazy plays. I'm a loose cannon. Nobody knows what I'm gonna do next. Why is the ship that starts with why is this the ship that starts with a glaive beam? Why is it? Why is this ship what? <laughs> Alright, um oh, what do I want to do next? Do I wanna get second shield? I think the second shield's the correct buy next. Because there will be some ships that can't do damage to us. So I'm going to... Uh, let's hold off. There could be a, like a store at the exit beacon. Explore. Nice. Nice. All right. Only four scrap away from being able to buy the second shield. Okay. Okay. He's got a drone. If it's a beam drone, he can't do anything to us. It's a combat drone. All right. Um... Do I want to hack his drone controller or anything? I think I do, actually. So I'll do two damage. I don't think he'll have any drones online once this shot hits. So as soon as the cloaking wears off, we hack the drone control. Actually, I'll even do it a little differently to buy as much time as possible. That will fire. This fires. Now we'll hack it. Okay. All right, good. Now we can take no damage. Beautiful. Oh, wow. That that means he had value point in drone control? Yeah, he did. Well, he had... No, he had four, and we only did two damage. Okay. Pretty sure this ship was designed to make every... Even easy a nightmare. Um... This ship is, like, m the most fun ship to play on easy mode, in my opinion. Because you get so much scrap in easy mode... That you can get some crazy OP builds with this ship. Alright, there we go. So that is... Let's check next sector. Mantis Homeworlds. Alright, we got the second shield. I feel like this ship was actually made for easy if easy difficulty. There we go. So we now have level 2 shield. I need to get level 2 hacking, and then I need to start... I mean, I have the hacking plus cloaking. Do I want to save up for the second glaive beam? Second glaive beam is going to happen really late. It's it's going to be level two hack, and then we got to decide maybe try to get mind control or something. Okay, all right. Definitely got to hack the shield, and I got to time it correctly. At least his weapons are crap. The level two shields is really good here. Um, okay. Okay. All right, let's see if we get the full two shields off. We do. Very nice. Beautiful. Get one shot, bro. Okay. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, so I need 11 more scrap to get uh, hacking level two online. 
Ooh, look at all the ship fights. Okay, let's wait for my O2 to come, or my, yeah, my O2, O2 to come back up. My O2, my O2 come back up. You're late, but you're here. Welcome, Ren. You are here for a possible double glade beam run. Wow, that would actually be crazy if this ends up being a double glade beam run. Okay, so I need to cloak the bomb. It's good dodge. Okay, cloak it. Please don't hit my weapons with 80% dodge. Thank you. All right. Both of my level one hacks have taken down two shields so far. That doesn't happen every time. I don't know. I don't know what the determining factor is on that. Biohazard, I think we might have had this discussion before, but sometimes level one hacking gets two shields down, sometimes it doesn't, and I'm not exactly sure what the determining factor is, but. Fingers crossed for that free pre-igniter. You're not the only one. I got one on Monday, so it's probably not happening. What's up, Chuck Frickin' Norris? Two glaives, you're glad you made it. Man shields or not? No, I don't think it has to do with man shields. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have to do with that. Okay. I think it has to do with the way shields... Um, I don't know. Honestly, don't know what it is. Honestly, don't know what it is. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and cloak that. Okay. Thank you for the thing that we didn't dodge being uh, the ion. I'm, I'm very appreciative of that game. Of course, level two hacking is guaranteed, so. You kind of think it has to do with the manning bonus on shields? Really? You think it does have to do with the manning bonus? I don't think so. Because when you hack shields, manning bonus isn't a thing, right? When you hack a system, that system automatically gets the manning taken away from it, right? Yeah, I think like Rad says, it can't be... Hey, is this is this the Rad who created the Vulcan ship? What's up, man? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it can't be the man thing because when, when, you, when you hack something, the manning bonus goes away. So I feel like somebody at one point said they had they thought it had something to do with when hacking starts compared to when shields start recharging. Like there's like, there might be a, a timer for the shield recharging or something. I don't know. Honestly, don't know. All right, 46 scrap. There's a store. Uh, that store is actually dead end, so nothing to sell. <laughs> There's totally nothing I could sell here. I mean, I totally couldn't sell this glaive beam for 45 scrap and get like a head and scrap. So we couldn't do that totally. Um, all right, I think actually the next thing I need to do is get value point weapons. I think that's the next thing we do. Okay, so that's three shots. This is an all or nothing type of bill. Yeah, it kind of is. All right, we're going to do the same thing we did before. Yeah, he made it through. All right, it's fine. Um, okay, let's go and do this and this. Okay. Okay, I'll fight you in a heal room. The one room I will fight you in. Oh, the double reward. It's a human. I will take, and it's a weapon-trained human. Whew, that's nice. That's actually perfect. Means I can move my Zoltan into shields. My human into weapons, and that'll make our glade beam charge even faster. That was a... For once, I'm very happy to see a human. For once in my life, I'm happy to see a human because he's got, got weapon training. That's amazing. Maybe an extra point in shields. Would that affect it? 
I, extra point in shields, like value point in shields, wouldn't change the, the refresh time on the shield. So I feel like it's a timing thing. Like, I feel like it depends when you do your hack, and that somehow lines up with when shield recharge happens, like in a cycle. I don't know. You believe more shield power gives faster charge, but the buffer isn't powered? Really? Each additional barrier can block one shot. I don't think upgrading your shields makes it recharge faster. I don't think that's the thing. You might not 100% understand hacking, so you're just guessing. Wait. Oh, you're talking about before that? Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's do the value point in weapons. And then next we're going to get probably power or uh, maybe save up for backup battery. Get vented. I mean, welcome aboard. <laughs> All right. Okay. Do this, then we do this. All the human—I mean, all the mantid borders today, which makes sense because we are literally on a in the mantis homeworlds. Okay, that actually times out really well. Do another free repair. All right, we've had one repair, ten scrap for five fuel, uh, for five missiles, and one free repair for for five damage. That's really nice. Third and fourth layer recharge faster than the first two. Wiki seems to confirm as much. I had no idea. That's like is not said anywhere in the game, as far as I know. It doesn't say in the description of this. It doesn't say. It says that when it's manned, it's a percent faster recharge. Um, when you look at shield training, it says faster recharge, but it doesn't say anything about higher levels of it. It's recharging faster. That's that's very strange to me. Hey, Borsi, thank you for the tier one sub. Appreciate that, my friend. Welcome to the randoms. You rock. All right, 48 scrap. So I need power. We haven't seen a store here yet. One, two, three. So we'll probably see a store this sector. You know, you only know since one of the overhaul mods I played had the info same with the longer duration on mind control levels. Interesting. All right, I'll, I'll go down to seven fuel. Please don't be another map. Okay, reactor upgrade for three fuel. Absolutely worth. That's great. So if I do go one, two, three, the only place I could get a store that wouldn't be a dive would be here. Although, if I did some engine upgrades, a dive might not be the worst, but... Let's just try to get as much scrap as possible. What's up, Nietzsche? How are you doing, my friend? Hey, there's Kazak. Oh, and there's a crazy weapon set up, too. Okay. Actually, no, let's do... Uh, I don't have a way to... vent this guy. It's going to slow down my glaive beam, but that's fine. What we do is we just we cloak the burst laser. And that will misalign the time. He just triple hit me at 70 fucking percent dodge. Are you kidding me, you shitty game? He just triple hit me, burst laser 2, at 70 percent dodge. F you, FTL. That means I actually take damage from the halberd. Well, unless we repair it in time. The level 3 cloaking, I should repair it. That's, that's just... Uh, that's that's just ridiculous. Seventy percent dodge, triple hit. Like, what what are the actual odds of that? What are the odds to be hit three times when you have seventy percent dodge? That's a one in. It's like a one in three, three times in a row. A one in twenty-seven. It's it's or even less than that. That's that is insane. Odds for me, a hundred percent. You mean odds for you, Rand, or for normal people? Like for normal people, what would the odds be? What's up, Apton? You haven't been here in a while, uh, Daniel D? Good to see you, my friend. Got here just in time to see me get triple hit while cloaked at 70% dodge. It's 2.7% for the actual numbers. It's 2.7%. So basically 100% for me. All right. Um, I mean, I feel like the thing to do now is actually save scrap to possibly buy a pre-igniter. I, I feel like that might actually be the play right now.
I feel like I should actually go to every store with 120 scrap in my in my inventory. Uh, it's 34.3% because the DLC is rolled each time independently. What? No, no, that's not right, Bolster Balls. It's not 34%. It's 34% for it happen one time. It's not 34% to happen three times in a row. I think your math is wrong there, sir. Come on, come on, come on. All right. I mean, I'm I'm not a math expert, so maybe you're right, but I'm pretty sure that's wrong. For it to happen three times in a row, it would be a one in three, three times, or less than a one in three because it was 70% dodge. That's not how probability works? Are you saying what I'm saying is not how it works, or...? So 0 0.7 times 0 0.7 point times 0 0.7 equals 0.343 as all the hits are independent of one another. 0.7. Are you saying that would be the chance that I dodged? So it was a 34.3. Okay, I should probably stop talking about about math. I. That's the 30. That's a 34 percent chance to dodge all three, not to get hit by all three. So that is that is wrong math. That is wrong math. I would add a 34% chance to dodge three times, not to get hit three times. <laughs> Which, 34% chance to dodge all three is... Is that right? That doesn't seem right to me. I don't know. Math is hard. I'm not even going to talk about math because I'm not going to be right. So y'all talk about it. Somebody on YouTube will probably tell me what the correct number is. I feel like 0.2% chance, or the 2% chance was the chance of me actually dodging all three, but I don't know. Or of, of getting hit by three shots. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Math is hard, okay? It's too early for math. It's not actually too early. It's too late in my life. I haven't had a math class in like freaking 15 years or something like that. God, I'm old. Okay. Um, actually, I just want to do this. Get one shot, bro. Uh, 34% is for triple dodge. It's 34% chance to triple dodge. Oh, okay. Because I had 70% chance to dodge, I had 34% chance to dodge all three shots. Okay. I, I could see that. I could see that. You tried to Google probabilities of 34 per dice three times and had PTSD to school, so you can't find out. <laughs> you have PTSD. Uh, 2.7 is correct. Okay. So that's the chance that I would have gotten hit by three shots in a row, but I'd say... 34% chance that I dodged all three shots. I think. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Probability. All right. So we hack shields. Um, I actually don't do anything about this shot. Uh, actually, I think I cloak this. I level three cloak when this fires. That'll give me the time... For this to not get a chance to fire. Seventy percent dodge, and I freaking get hit by it again. Holy crap, man! Seventy percent dodge for me really is zero percent dodge. I swear. Okay, God, I hope I timed this right. I think I did. We're gonna do this. Beautiful. And by this, I mean one shot you. Can go ahead and one shot you there. All right, we do take a solar flare here. Okay. I think I'm gonna not heal my 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 pilot. I think is what I'm gonna do. I'm just not gonna heal him. We'll have to heal him on another jump. Uh, you actually enjoyed probability calculation. And math was one of the few things that seemed useful. Alrighty, 168 scrap. So I have enough. If there's a pre-igniter for sale, I have enough. With a 70% chance of dodging and three shots, your chance of getting hit once is 76%. Twice is 9% and three times is 2.7%. So with 7% dodge, one hit is likely. More than one hit is very unlikely. Cool. That sounds, that sounds logical. I need to not fail this. Beautiful. Oof, and I need that thing to not... 
That's an iron intruder drone. No, that's a that's a boarding drone. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do this now. Backup battery would be useful. There'd be a lot of things that'd be very useful right now. Okay, I need to time this right because he's trying to run. Thank God this guy's not going into my weapons. Bum 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 bum. Do 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 do. Perfect. Beautiful. Now we can repair. I mean heal. Only 25 scrap from that? Damn. Just hoping, just hoping for more. Do, do, do. Uh, if Dodge Ray Simpson, then shouldn't chance for one hit be 30%? Oh, God. We're still talking about the math. I shouldn't have asked. I shouldn't have talked about the math. Damn it. Uh, and Daniel D with the tier one. Thank you for the two months. Keep doing what you're doing, brother. I will do my best. If by doing what I'm doing, you mean get salty to FTL, I probably couldn't stop if I wanted to. Can't stop, won't stop. Uh, you have to work out H, comma, D, comma, D minus D, comma, H, comma, D. Uh, no, because they have three chances to hit each time. They fire has 30% chance of hitting, but the chance of one out of three hitting is higher. Oh, my God. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. The chance for one hit is 30, but for all three shots, that one of them hits is 70. Okay. You actually like math. All right, maybe I should just stop reading chat for a bit. <laughs> well, there's abandoned. That's abandoned sector five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I know Kenny wants abandoned. Abandoned is just the wrong choice. We go pirate. We want free crew. We're not doing it, Kenny. I'm not doing it. It's the wrong choice. I've already made... No, I can't do it. Just can't do it. Uh, abandoned sector five would probably lose me the run. <laughs> Abandoned or a balls. Uh, a balls is what I say. 193 scrap. What do I do here? I think I get one power. Alright, I guess we do asteroid field here. Only like a five minute bit, but it has me in stitches. What is that? Oh, brilliant comic from my city. Basically talks about using school stuff in real life. Very funny. Scottish rage is a thing to behold. <laughs> well, this guy's got three shields. Mind control and Zoltan shields. So, this kind of sucks. Okay. All right. Basically trying to buy time for what just happened. All right, beautiful. Zoltan Shield taken down by Asteroid Field. That is so good for us. It's actually amazing for us. Okay. This actually went way better than I was expecting it to. I was not expecting a three Zoltan Shield ship to go this well. So he has three, six, nine... 11. So I need to hit four rooms if I want a one shot. I'm pretty sure this is one of the ships that I can't. F Wait. Never mind. I'm a liar. I can hit four rooms. Uh, if that was five fuel, I would have taken it. Okay. All right. Very nice. All right. That could have gone much worse if the Zoltan Shield did not get taken down by the. Um, Asteroid field as quickly as it did. So that was very, very lucky for us. You need to play this again. You've forgotten all the strats uh, for FTL. Lots of strats. Okay. Distress and a pirate is usually a tarp. But if they offer me stuff, will they sometimes offer me stuff? Let's go to the tarp. Let's do it. Mind control would be a very good thing to get to. Carefully cut that ship out. Nice, nice, free stuff, man. All right, store. Okay, we don't want to go that way, so I guess we go one, two. Get as much scrap, because if this store had pre-igniter and mind control, oh, man, that would be amazing. Uh, glaive beam cloaking? <laughs> hey, we, uh, we think the same. How about I take your free fuel? How about I take that deal? I don't know why I'm having the hardest time on Crystal A. You're getting the worst RNG. That's, that's what can happen. R and Jesus, man. All right, there's the mind control. 
I think that's the best thing to get because we're low on uh, crew, so mind control helps us counter the boarding strats. Be nice if he had a uh, backup battery too. It's not a tarp! <laughs> Does Federation Artillery Beam count as beam weapon in that event? I think yes. I think so. Do I buy a Mantis with me being this low on crew? That's a fully engine trained Mantis. That's pretty good. Um, I probably don't get another store in Pirate. I normally don't advocate for buying crew. In this case, I'm going to. Because it's so hard to get dodge on this ship because you're cloaking all the time. And uh, Mantis is good for anti-boarding. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right. So next, uh, let's also buy fuel. Next, we are, again, trying to save for Glaive Beam. But also, we need to look for upgrading our weapon. No, we need to get some... We need to get some dodge training. We do a couple jumps, and then I'll probably get uh, an extra engine point here. As the game has shown, you need 100% dodge to have any dodge. Yeah. Ignore. That's a tarp. Okay. Okay. Um... This is not a guaranteed one shot, so I'm actually going to let him take a shot. Okay, well, I was going to dodge multiple things, but okay, we'll go with that. Okay. All right, only thing we left up is the bomb, which is kind of, kind of scary, because he could bomb my weapons, and I didn't one shot him. Hey, we actually got a doge. Actually got a doge. So don't repair anything. Let's go ahead and do that. Small bomb probably will get another shot off. When it's about to fire, I'll move my O2 power to doge. Please don't hit my weapons. All right, it's fine. It's fine. No big deal. No big deal. Didn't start a fire. It's fine. Okay. Alright, next bomb we cloak. Okay. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. Nobody's raging here. I don't know what y'all are talking about. I'm not raging. I never rage. Alright, stop doing that. Got it. Okay. All right. No raging. No raging. Um, what's the goal for the remaining two ships? Beat them so I've unlocked all the ships again. Win. Get a win. That's all. Actually, all I got to do is get to Sector 8, but pretty much win. That's all I'm trying to do. Uh, what's the requirement for the last ship? Shoot. Yeah, you just you get to Sector 7 with the B ships, and you unlock the C ships. Um Although, unlocking Crystal B, I have to do achievements on Crystal A, don't I? It's not just getting a win with Crystal A to get the Crystal B. So, it's getting to Sector 8 with this ship. And then it's doing, I think, the achievements for Crystal A, I believe. Two, three, four, five, okay. Uh, uh, Glade Beams are small bomb magnets, yeah. I want to get the another, another value point here, but again... This, um, oh, that free NG is so good. We are actually just a pre-igniter away from having a replication of one of our best runs of all time. So I want to give ourselves that chance. So I'm going to try to keep 120 scrap every time we go to a store. With this build, we should be fine to do that. As long as I have enough drone parts for uh, hacking. We have enough offense. So are you going to delete the save again after you unlock everything? No. I was actually thinking I might... Um, maybe I'll try some hard mode no pause again or something. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do after we finish this challenge. I might just do people's suggested challenges again. Lots of, lots of things we could do. I was thinking about maybe trying hard mode no pause again. Of course, we all know how rage-inducing that can be, so... 
we'll see, we'll see. All right, so again, uh, four would be, tw so 12 is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I got just enough health to knock it one shot. So go ahead and do this. Oh, uh, and oh, that must be an ion bomb. All right, well, if he ion bombs my weapons, it'll be annoying, but it'll just it'll just mean the fight goes on longer. It's not a huge deal. Oh, okay, the my ion bomb did go offline. Okay. If that is an ion bomb, which I think it is, because it was online with only one power in the weapons. Do, 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 do. And this will kill him because we get through two shields with Glaive Beam, because Glaive Beam is OP. Do, 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 Captain Edition, we could do some Captain Edition, maybe, maybe, yeah. Yeah, I, I accidentally delete the save, Daniel. It was during one of our challenges. We did a challenge run where I played in a different language to see how well I would recognize all the events. And then when I changed it back, I was looking at all the different languages. And one of the languages you could select was blank. I was like, what happens when I hit the blank one? Apparently it's a bug. And that makes all of your text go away everywhere. So I couldn't tell what was happening. There's a big giant button that says delete profile usually. But since there was no text, I didn't know what that button did. So I clicked it and it deleted my save. So that's the long-winded version of what happened. That video is actually the first one I saw. It's your most popular YouTube video. Yes, it is. I don't know how many views it has, but it is by far my most uh, watched YouTube video. It is the uh, double pre-ignited glaive beam video. Wish this could be multiplayer. Logically not easy, but maybe you both upgrade over time a little face off at the end. Yeah, people have talked about that. I don't know that there would be a good way to make multiplayer work on this on this game. Okay. All right, defense 2 is going to suck. Okay, I need it to have a slight angle so it can miss. There we go. All right. Eratus is nearing full release. Will I play it when that happens? Possibly, Ren. I'll probably play it again. I enjoyed I enjoyed my time, even though that game is trolly as fuh. So... Um, I'm going to do this. I think we guarantee get his flak down. And we probably just one shot him here, honestly. Beautiful. Uh, steel supplies. Yes. Nice. Not punished for being a douchebag. All right. At least I'd have a new reason to play if it was a multiplayer. I don't... Wait, wait, what are you talking about? I don't need a new reason to play. <laughs> there's always something you can do in FTL, whether it's crazy challenges, viewerships, modded stuff. There's lots of stuff you can do. There is multiplayer Darkest Dungeon. There is? I had not heard of that. Uh, double Glade Beam is the ultimate meme run. Oh, that's double missile. Okay. Okay. All right, I got to decide. Do I want to level three cloak now? No, we, we level three cloak when the missiles both fire. And the chance that we get hit by both missiles is so low that it's probably going to freaking happen. Because I think they'll fire close enough together. Perfect. Okay. Cloak it. That both, that one, okay. All right, all right, we dodged them both. That's beautiful. That is exactly what I was hoping for. All right, can I hit five rooms here? No, this is only going to be a four-room hit, I believe. So we take out weapons, shields, piloting, and heal bay. Yes. All right, one of his missiles is still online. Go. Do, 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 ba, do, do. All right. Hopefully, it's only a one damage missile hit if it hits my weapons. Oh my God! We're getting the Dumble Doges. Dumble Doge, I love you. But here comes the next missile, though. Oh man, do we get do we get the shot off before it hits our possibly weapons? Get the doges in. Come on, please, please, please. Okay, it's not going for weapons. We're fine. No surrender, you die. Cloak for, for whatever's coming at us here. Okay. Only one or two damage there. That was a very good for 
how many missiles that guy had and how much health he had. That was actually a very good fight for us. Uh, let's see. FTL was 64 people. Battle Royale. Wow. People should really check out Tachyon. It's FTL's multiplayer in a nutshell. You play a crew member rather than a ship. Can take over and use other ships. Fire multiple ships. Fight multiple ships at once, etc. Yeah, I think I've heard about Tachyon and I've never played it. I, 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 but I think there's a game kind of like that that I've played. It's like a first person, first person thing like that. Looks like they redid the minion leveling and upgrading system. So maybe less trolley than when you beat Floor 3 earlier this year on the hardest difficulty. Well, balance was the main issue I had with the game, Ren. So if they have rebalanced it, I definitely would like to try it out again. I did like it. May the Dumble Doge be with you, Airy. Captain Picard. <laughs> Sounds right. Sounds right. Uh, you played it on your channel with some friends if you want to see some gameplay. It takes quite a bit of inspiration for FTL visual-wise. Biohazard, if you want to link that, I would be interested in checking that out. You're a mod, so I think you're okay to link stuff. FTL 2 will be called STS. Slower than shiznit. <laughs> okay. Okay, looks like they don't want to fight us for some reason. There's an older game called Tachyon that's a space fight, flight sim voiced by Bruce Campbell. I called a game, I played a game called, I think it's called Pulsar? No. There was some game that I've played with my friend Tim that was like, you are, you are first person, or, yeah, you're first person on a ship and there's different systems you can man and all that kind of stuff. Kind of like what y'all are describing. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cloak the bomb. Okay, that's a good dodge. Okay, cloak that. Okay. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. No biggie. Just annoying. Was it Pulsar, or is that a different game? But there was a game where you, like, you man different systems, and there's one guy who's a captain. You can actually go down on planets and stuff. It's a really cool game. I just don't remember what it was called. There are some who call him Tim? <laughs> Okay. Don't hit my weapons. Okay, beautiful. Now Glade Beam can't, or Glade Beam Halberd Beam can't hit us. Whew. All right, all right. Apparently buying crew was the floodgates to get a bunch more crew. That is a fully trained Mantis fighter. Yes, please. Uh, I love how many categories this can be placed in. Wish there were more roguelike, turnish based upgrade, resource management, sci-fi story-based, choose-your-own-adventures out there, you know? <laughs> I do know. I do know. I, I agree. Um, we're going into rock homeworlds. I kind of want to upgrade my engines and dive here. Could you get the second glade beam? The issue with that is power. Yeah, power is the issue if I want to get the second glade beam. We'll do another value point. That way we're protected from small bombs. Uh, Death Angel, thank you for the 14 bits. Appreciate that. I think I'm going to dive. Level 3 cloaking. Level 3 cloaking is is definitely a diveable thing. You think I am talking about Pulsar? I think I am talking about Pulsar. Pulsar. I think that's what I'm talking about, too. <laughs> okay. Um, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so this guy's a one-shot, so I can just go ahead and do this. Um, actually, for dodge training, I'm going to let the laser fire, then I'm going to cloak. It's a little gritty, but I don't think it's that bad. Good. Yeah, no dodge training. But now we cloak. We'll one-shot him. As long as I time the hacking correctly. God, I hope I don't get punished for this. Got him. Okay, so that's 30 extra scrap, scrap we get from that jump. This would just end up being a boarding only play that would pass easily. Um, I mean, two mantis is is good, but two man mantis boarding is not all that good against the boss. 
Because unless you have four-man boarding, I usually don't use boarding strats against the boss that much. Here's your playlist. I know somewhere around episode 7 or something we had a three-ship fleet. So this is for Tachyon. Nice. Cool. I definitely will check that out. Very cool, Biohazard. Search for the ship. Oh, it's a stasis pod. Uh, well, there's we're ab about to go to Rock Homeworlds, actually. Um, but I couldn't I couldn't get the second part of the quest where I get Ruin, so I, we just take the weapon for scrap. So, and actually, we can use the charge laser for right now. It's not bad. Okay. All right. So if we're gonna dive, I basically need power. So I can move power around to do cloaking level three. We won't be able to one-shot a dive ship. He'll just have too much health. Um, do I want to get five dodge? Or the fifth dodge will have 100% dodge on the ASB. I think I... The thing I'm worried about is if there's a store immediately in the next sector that has pre-igniter. I only have charge laser to sell, so... I'm going to not get more. It's a bit of a gamble. We have a good enough amount of health, though, that I think this is not a terrible play. All right, that's a that's a nine. Let's see, four, three, two. Yeah, that's a, that's a nine power weapon system. But it is a dive, so no big surprise there. Okay, boarding. So the only thing we really care about cloaking is the ASB. Um, although cloaking now at level three, I think, should, should last long enough, I hope. Not 100% sure on that, actually. Yeah, I think it'll last long enough. The question will be, will we actually dodge at 95% dodge? Come on, one more. Beautiful. Already got the dodge, so we can do this. Um, let's see, do I go for what? Yeah, let's go for weapons. Okay. I don't think we get a second Glade Beam, though, before uh, ASB. We're going to see if we dodge the ASB here. Uh, his Vulcan spun up. I don't care about the one fuel that much. We're not trying to bank stuff. Let's not greed. Okay, Reagan and Mikhail go heal. Uh, nine weapon powers, BS, uh, Sweb, yeah, it is BS, but when you dive, you often see things that you normally, that are way stronger than they should be at that point in the game, so, nine weapon power in a dive is not the craziest thing I've seen, not by a long shot. That beautiful traveling ASB Dumbledore, that's right. All right, Asterisk Field, okay, all right, so... 190 to get the second glaive beam plus power, but I really just want to see if we can find pre-igniter. Pre-igniter would just be freaking amazing. Damn, he's got cloaking too. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. I think I might need to wait for a second cloaking, honestly. So I just don't think Glade Beam will charge fast enough. That's the, the the main weakness of Glade Beam is the long charge time, so. But it's actually fine, because as long as we can cloak this. Hey, a Dumble Doge training. I like it. Okay, there we go. Whew, okay. Okay, this human looks like he's gonna lose the fight, so we gotta swap him out. Start the hack. Um, okay, so this will one-shot the cloaking. I wonder, curious, 
how many weapons will go offline with this? Okay, that's offline. So two shields is now enough. So I can hit his, uh, let's hit his shields here. Five fuel, eight missiles, nope. We can actually get some weapon training with the uh, charged laser here. Okay, back to positions. Charge laser fire. And then finish him. Ren, did I ever play this war of mine? I did. It's a cool little game. I like it. Um, it's the one where you're like... Um, it's like a colony management side side view, and you like go out and get materials and stuff. And there's like story things going on with your people like slowly getting depressed. That's a fun game. I just wish there was more variety in the gameplay. Like once I beat it once, I didn't feel the need to play it again. But yeah, nice ASMR beatboxing. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. So the main things I would want from a store are a pre igniter and backup battery. It is a sad game. It is sad. But it's a good game. Okay, no pre-igniter. And no of the other thing I wanted. No of that thing. I think I buy a couple drone parts here. We're kind of reliant on our drone control... On our, uh... Hacking. Alright. Do I think there will be another store in Rock Home World? What's the chance for a second store in Red Sector? It's not super high. I'm thinking about getting my second Glade Beam online, so we just start one-shotting dudes. I'm thinking Cell Charge Laser. Right, I'm going to do this one point at a time here. I know that weakens me a little bit right now, but I only need like one more jump to get that upgraded. You're late. How many restarts? Uh, zero, actually. Zero restarts. People recommended I restart after a rocky start. However, I feel like the not restart was the right choice, seeing as we have double glade beam right now. So that's why you don't restart at the first sign of trouble. We got a nice ten repair for some few uh, for some missiles in sector one. And uh, kind of made up for the rough start. Good. That's a good dodge. Cloak this. We then do this. And that's a really good swipe. No surrender. Oof, one off lethal. Beautiful. And then we might control you so you can't repair your stuff, and the next shot will kill you. Do, 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 do. We only need one shield, so more chance for piloting dodge training is good. Nice. It's going to take him a while. Needs 12 more doges. Gotcha. Uh, kind of their story presets now. Kids are in it, and you can customize the startup as well. I remember there being, like, expansion stuff to it, but I didn't really get into it. I, I, I beat it one time, and I was like, that was fun. I don't really feel like I need to play it again. <laughs> Usually one store, possibly two factoid. Yeah, for Red Sectors, it's... I don't know what the chances are, but I think it's a pretty low chance for a second store. So, if I do this, do I have enough for a power? I don't. But that is... Double Glaive Beam Online. Goliath online. Uh, the little this little war of mine. I'm gonna make it shine. This the war of mine. I'm gonna make it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it. Oh, one, two, three, four. Okay. You like my haircut? You have the same one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I cut my hair myself. Okay, demand the ship, pay the agreed upon price. Please don't do damage to me. Brick. All right. 
You can get a ship fight out of that. I think that's just a, I think it's a 50-50 that you get a ship fight out of that, but we've gotten free damage, I feel like, the last couple times we've done that. Meme mode equals on. Meme mode activate. If you ever want to play Into the Breach again, the challenge I've been working on is 100% unlock of all squads and achievements in the fewest possible runs. Lowest theoretical number is 12. I don't know that I have enough experience in that game to make that happen. <laughs> Honestly. Okay. I think I'm going to only use level 1 cloaking just because of power now. So I have 90% dodge, 97% dodge. Okay. We had, okay, we did get one dodge training out of that. We'll cloak the rest of it to guarantee we don't take damage. Then we do this, and we one-shot him. You have come from the far land of YouTube, and I love your content, so it's pretty cool to see you live. Nice, Nazona. Welcome from the faraway land of YouTube. This wonderland that I've heard pray tell of. Pray tell, tell me more. Well, welcome from the YouTubes, my friend. Appreciate you joining us here on the live stream. Uh, nope, if you offer me a lot of drone parts, I might actually take that deal, but... Now we need power, but I also would like to save up in case, in case there is a pre-igniter. So I'm going to try to save up scrap. Uh, try some of the breach mods or the versus mode, which is also a mod. So into the breach mods. Yeah, that's but that's going back to a game I've played before, and I'm kind of having a lot of other new games that I want to play. So I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know about going back to into the breach right now. Something tells me just in case is pretty much a certainty at this point. Just in case we get the pre-igniter, uh, there's never any certainties. Never. Okay. Um. Okay. No certainties in FTL. 97% dodge, not a certainty of a dodge. Okay, there we go. Thank you, uh, Asteroid Field, for helping me out there. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Is there a five where I hit the weapons? Yes, there is. Beautiful. All right. Okay. Don't jinx it, Bolster Balls. Don't jinx it. Yeah, there are no certainties in FTL, especially a certainty for finding, like, the most rare... Well, one of the most rare... Um, Augments in the game. FTL wants you to repeat the glory of dual winning a pre-ignited glaive beam. It must. <laughs> Show them to my data suite. Yay! A blue option. Ooh. Um, two of thirteen. While well, he would be zero of fifteen, so it only take four more extra dodges. But he would be immune to fires in there. I think having my rock free to deal with boulders and fires is probably better. I had the mind control counter. Yeah, we'll just do this. I like having rock on piling, but the human's just a little little ahead in dodge training. All right, I would love to get more power right now, but I'm purposely not spending my scrap on power so that I can get back up to 120 scrap. Um, come to think of it, actually dual wielding an actual pair of glaives, pole arms, would probably be among the least practical approaches to arming oneself possible. Yes. Still think you'd like Weird World's Return to Infinite Space? The one I, I bought after you sent me the money for it. Pretty simple roguelike. Yeah, see, I forgot that I even had that. Weird World, so I need to check that game out. Like, I've been gifted a bunch of games, and there's games I want to play. Like, I, I even forgot that I had that. Weird World's Return. So I need to look at that one and see if I want to play that. There's just, there's too many games, and I'm like in the middle of long runs on Eldom. That's like the third time I've gotten that carefully cut the ship out. That's amazing. So, <laughs> I want to play these games. God, there's too many games. This ship is now a heavy-duty ran mower. <laughs> That's right. You can give a short list of recommendations if you'd like. Quite a few that have this kind of adventurous rogue. I don't need a short recommendation of more games to play. I don't need a recommendation. I got more than enough games. Um, there's the one that was that we played the early access of. Um, That's basically an, art, uh, an FTL clone. Uh, what was that one that I never played? Okay, we got a dodge in, so we're safe. Um, that I always forget the name of. That's like, uh, it's on a grid. 
but it's kind of FTL like. All right, so we definitely have to save, wait for the second cloak. Have I ever played World in Conflict? It's an RTS. Doesn't ring any bells, so probably not. Actually, use this for a little bit of doge training, actually. Actually, actually. Very nice. Beautiful. Look at all those doges. Look at all those dumble doges. Uh, next game after Oni is Autonauts. <sighs> well, I actually want to play some more Banner Lord, and Oni, since Oni is two days a week, I might want to, I might was thinking about using those days for Banner Lord, but I don't know. Okay, there's a store. Damn, I don't have a good way to get four four jumps going this direction, but I wanted to go this way so I could see if there was a store. I don't want a chance losing this jump, so I'm gonna go to the store now. Because RNG Jesus plays pre-igniter would be so amazing. Damn, no pre-igniter yet. One fuel, two drone parts. Still no pre-igniter. Alright, so I'm going to get one power here. No backup battery either. Both of those would be useful. I'm full up on crew as well. Um... The only full one FTL clone I know is Space Rogue. Not bad of a game. But you know, it's not FTL. Did I mean Convoy? No, I played Convoy. It's not. It's a space game. The one that I'm talking about. Y'all will know it as soon as I mention it. I just, I can't think of the name. It's, uh, it, you're on a grid. It's not exactly like FTL because the combat's different. But it's FTL-like and that's a space thing. There's story elements to it. Um, damn it. Uh... Crying Sons, yes, it's Crying Sons is the one I was thinking of. Crying Sons is the game. That's it. I always forget the name, because to me, I, I just don't remember that name. I don't know why. I can never remember that name. Okay, we should kill him before he can do anything here. Beautiful. Yep. Crying Sons. Ogre's got it. Do I get out? Oof, get out before even solar flares us. Beautiful. Short strip to Earth is fun, but that one is, it gets really repetitive really fast. And also, I don't like how the optimal way to play the game is you have to continuously swap out systems. I don't like that play style. You weren't a fan of Crying Suns, wasn't a fan of the balance they did. The AI isn't good at working with the drones. We'll just give them a lot more than the player has. Yeah, I don't... That's part of the reason why I haven't... It's... I haven't played it yet. Is because from what I heard, the final game wasn't as good as some people thought it could have been. NG, yes. Um, but I still do want to play it after it's been released. Because I played it pre-release and thought it was fun. Okay. So I'm going to get one more power. Because it'll still leave me enough for uh, pre-igniter. And this NG sector is basically our last chance. So we got to check all the stores looking for pre-igniter. Hey, what's up, FIFA? How are you doing? You read they made short trip to Earth stupidly unfair or hard, but you haven't tried after I got tired of it. I didn't find it stupidly unfair or hard. Um, I'm going to try to do this. All right, fails. Double ions, okay. I, I, need to, I probably should have got the hacking upgrade. It just got repetitive, and I didn't like, I didn't, like I said, I didn't like the balancing, or I don't know if balancing is the right word, but. I didn't like, oh, that's a good double dodge. Did not like, um, the, the combat thing of between, basically every time you went out of combat, you basically had to change your systems up to play optimally, and I did not like that at all. Okay, wow. That was actually not as strong as I was hoping. Um, okay, we need our we need our defenses up now. The four shields, man. First ship, sector seven, four shields. Kind of kind of crappy luck. At least it doesn't have cloaking, I guess, but okay, one damage. Oh, that hurts. That really hurts. 
And I can't I can't kill him until um okay, I can still kill him even with level one hacking. This will kill. Okay. Do, do, ba, do, do, do. Ooh, that double reward's very nice. Very, very nice. Do, do. Um What's up, Cruel Angel? Your sister got pre-ignited on her first ever jump, so yeah, her luck is insane. <laughs> That's crazy. Short Strip is pretty fun, but as Rand said, nearing the late game after every fight, you've got a busy swapping out your loadout, and again, just before getting to combat. Yeah, it's just, it gets tedious. If there was, I think one thing I said when I was talking about the game after, like, kind of reviewing it was, if they made it so you could, um, kind of like how you can have preset positions for your crew, if you could have two different loadouts for your ship systems, like, out of combat and in combat... That would make it much less tedious, but I don't know if they ever did anything like that or if that's a feasible thing. All right, Store, come on. Come on, Pre-Igniter. Come on. Uh, when you played, I consider it quite easy. You had a win streak of nine or something like that on Hardcore, but you got bored, yeah. Our short trip. Come on, come on, come on, Pre-Igniter. Come on, page two. Damn. Still no Pre-Igniter. Hey, Pie Boy with the 24 months, man. You are a bro. How are you doing, sir? All right, we'll do that backup battery, which is great. Uh, okay, we're doing pretty good on drone parts. All right, so we need this, but I'm not going to power it since we just got backup battery. All right, third shield would be nice, but again, we have cloaking, so I'm gonna I'm gonna save. We got we got a possibility of three stores that have pre igniter, so store one no pre igniter. Uh, your high score ever I got free long range scanner first jump nice. Participate in their study nice. Shortest trip to Earth chat, eh? That's right. Yeah, Paul needs a pre-igniter. And so I saw, so I know I haven't missed any store opportunities so far. If there's one here, I probably don't see that store. So let's just hope that there's no store there. Okay. All right. Freaking. Why, why, why am I fighting Zoltan Shield ships, man? Uh, I only need one glade beam for that. Okay. Let's go and do this. So buy us time for our glade beam to recharge after we get through the Zoltan Seal with our first shot. There's no reason to use a second glade beam. It'll do nothing. Okay. It's pretty scary here. Okay, that's good. Hit weapons or cloaking or shields. Any of those would have been very bad. Okay. Whew. All right, we got our max dodges. That's very good. Oh, don't hit my weapon. Ugh, fuck you, FTL. God damn it. I thought I'd weathered the fucking storm of this bullshit fight. I'm taking Surrender. I'm going to take that. There's too much shit incoming here. If if he just hadn't small bombed my weapons, I would have one-shot him there. But FTL just can't can't stop being bullshit. Just can't stop. Can't stop it stealth. itself. Is this the first run of the day? It is the first run of the day. And started out a little rough in Sector 1, but we got a nice repair at the end of Sector 1 that let us keep going. That let us... Make the choice to keep 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 on, keep it on. There's pre-igniter hiding out there. You can feel it. I can smell it. I can taste it. I should not be allowed near technology, apparently. <laughs> Save enough for that pre-igniter. Are you going to go for shields last minute? Yes. And that's the plan. Um, yeah, I'm purposely not getting shields right now. Basically, cloaking or resultant shields are the things that are punishments for us right now. Because they keep us from being able to one-shot them. So, like, any other ship is fine. Like, I can... Now that I have max uh, dodge training, if I just go ahead and cloak now, he won't be able to do anything to me. We'll just one-shot him. So, that's what we'll do. We have basically become our final form. Minus a 
Minus the pre-igniter, that is. Okay. This, 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 and this. Eat my glaive beam wings. <laughs> oh my god, glaive beams. Double glaive beams insane. It's been a long time. It's been a long time since we've had the double glaive beam meme. Feels good. Feels freaking good, man. Can't stop, won't stop. So yeah, so we need a pre-igniter, and we're good to go. I haven't, now I have, this doesn't really matter for the RNG, but I haven't seen a pre-igniter in any of the stores so far. So, I feel like I haven't used out my pre-igniter juice yet. I know that's not how odds work or whatever, but. Um, since I have enough scrap, I'm actually going to skip that. Seven jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can still. So in order to see the most jumps for the highest chance of pre igniter I'm going to go this way. Uh, one of the best feelings in the game is when you are on red health and you get 15 hull repairs at double reward. Yeah, that's pretty rare, but yeah, it's a good feeling. Okay, same thing here. He just never gets to do anything by cloaking level three. This is a one shot with one glaive, two is just mean. <laughs> you know what I love to do? I love to get my re revenge on FTL for all the times it's been mean to me. So, this is me getting my revenge is what it is. Feels good, man. Fails freaking good. This right here is why this ship is really fun when it's good. When it's bad, this ship is bad. When it's good, my god, this ship can be fun. It's just one-shotting every single fight in the game. FTL, F this liar of a game, that's right. Those glaives names are slice and dice. <laughs> Odds work however you want them to work, yeah. Uh, not really, because I would want... 5% dodge to be 100% dodge, and it doesn't work that way, sadly. FDL does stand for fast and light. People just forget that they're refreshing how fast you will die. Referencing how fast you will die. Ah, okay. Getting shields on the ship early can be misplay. Yes, and I was planning on not doing that in this run, and it turned out that that's what I did. All right, because this could be a store, I'm going to go there. I was actually looking for hacking earlier, because I think that's the right play um but they didn't have it and they did have shields all right so there's no store there lies demand lies and statistics five percent does equal 100 percent for auto scouts that's right okay so the only possible third store will be up in here one two three four five exit can sometimes be a store too I think we're basically guaranteed to dive this sector right now. So I think the best way to do it would be one, two, three, four, five. I think that's the best way to go. Okay. Um, for blue options, I'm going to do those two things and one more power. I'm going to knock at the third shield yet. Because cloaking is basically making up for the third shield. You think Flak, Vulcan, and Glade Beam is the third, the three more powerful weapon in the game? Oh, Flak, Vulcan, and Glade Beam? Um... Flak and Vulcan, yes. Glaive Beam can be powerful. Glaive Beam can be a trap, though, as well. In before Unicorn Sector 8 store. That would be amazing. Investigate? Ah, uh, damn. Okay. All right, so we didn't get a third store this sector. So this store is probably our last chance of getting the pre-igniter. You can mind control to get a store with the rebel announcer blue option. True. Okay, that's nice extra scrap before the store. All right, all right, game. This is probably our last chance. Everybody, with every scrap of mental willpower, force her and Jesus to give a pre igniter. Come on, come on, game. Damn it! <laughs> oh, it's just not, just not looking like it's gonna happen, man. 
So it would have to be a Sector 8 pre-igniter now. Um, do I want Clone Bay? Let me see here. I don't think I spend scrap on Clone Bay, because we can have a good chance of getting like four shields and more dodge if I don't. I don't need Clone Bay. You were praying you got one, sorry. Damn it, Pie Boy, it was you. <laughs> sure, I have some fuel. All right, if they gave me a map right there, that would have been the biggest freaking waste ever, but... All right. <laughs> I was praying for the wrong person. Sorry about that. <laughs> freaking Pie Boy. Stranger Things have happened in Sector 8 Pre-Igniter. Stranger Things have happened. Not very often. So it's still a possibility. It's just not very likely. Oh crap! Um, actually, I need them to not go into my mic into my engines because that would mess up my hundred percent dodge. Look at this freaking double flak craziness they got going. There it is. I was really afraid that wasn't gonna fire. Before the ASB, which had been really, which would have been really bad. Okay, get one shot and completely dumble doged, bro. All the doges. Oh wait, why did my Zoltan move? Zoltan, you should not have moved. Still worth an R and Jesus, please. Still worth it. All right, let's do that. Stealth Cruiser Type C. Well, we didn't get double pre-ignited glade beam, but we at least did our our main goal, which was get the uh, last non-crystal ship unlocked. So that's very nice. So even if we don't get the double glade pre-ignited, still have had a very good run. This is uh, this has been a very good run. I can't can't be mad can't be mad about it. Are you O'Regan? No, O'Regan is the shield guy. Okay. Double flak two is terrifying without cloaking. It is. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. What's our best chance to see a store here? Probably here and here, honestly. What do you mean, pre ignited double glaive, is, glaive isn't the main goal? What do you mean? <laughs> so I'd only see that one jump. If I go into this dive, I see one, two, three. I see four jumps from that from that dive. So. I'm going to forego some extra scrap to see if there's a store here while diving. Purposely diving. <laughs> Seeing how this run began, it sure has turned out great. Yes. And that again, that is the reason you do not immediately reset. You got to, you got to, you got to see if RM Jesus will giveth after RM Jesus hath taketh away. You have to see. We have really good anti-boarding too. Okay, glade beam's fine. Okay, I guess I gotta do this. I wanted to wait for that to fire, but this is fine. I think we one-shot you anyway. Doge the ASB. Go heal the one guy who took a little bit of damage. Here's your scrap port from your slug bee run a few days back. Okay, I'll check that in a second, bye boy. Okay, so currently, my backup battery and my clone uh, cloaking are offline. Pieboy, you say when you jump, everything always comes back online, right? Let's check. No store. So the only one I haven't seen is this one. <laughs> battery. Okay. Okay, battery did come back online. Not if you are in combat. Well, it did come back online, but the cloaking didn't come back online. So you're saying, Pieboy, it's just the battery that comes back online if it's not... Being charged. Holy 820 scrap, Batman. <laughs> wow. 820 banked scrap. Okay. Oh, let's see where this hacking goes. Doors, that's a great hack. Iron Intruder Drone. Okay, that's a fine Iron Intruder Drone, too. Maybe only subsystems refresh. Well, I do know that it doesn't refresh if it's... Um, in use when you jump. It will still be considered in use or whatever, so. Crap, I took damage. Should have cloaked it. 
I didn't think... I didn't think I'd get zero dodges with 40% and him only having this shit. God damn it, that also took down my, uh... Ah, F you, FTL. Okay, we still one-shot you. Get wrecked, you piece of crap. I had to get zero dodges. That's bullshit. And also, we only get 20 scrap from that fight. F you, FTL. God damn. What a piece of crap you are, game. Don't give me my pre-igniter. Do stupid shit like that to make me take a little extra damage. BS. Don't worry, you did get the swag sensors. Okay, I was worried. <laughs> You're a little behind you on my hard mode unlocks. You've got all the B ships now working on the C ships. You're going to do all achievements in hard as well. Not looking forward to scrap order. The hardest achievement for me was the crystal achievement to get 15 rock fights in a single run. No store. I looked at as many jumps as I could. No freaking store, man. All right, well. There's fourth shield then. No pre ignited glade beam for us. No pre ignited double glade beam. Rand auction hack, fine. This is fine. Doors, fine. This is fine. It's all fine. If you don't hack my weapons or my shield, it's fine. It's fine. We have enough uh, drone parts already, so. Okay, let's do this. Do, 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 That's a lot of shots. So let's cloak them. Let's dumble doge them all. Oh man, I think I even hacked a little early. Man, I'm not used to not having the full weapon training, man. It's so weird to have a run where I don't have full weapon training. And I'd sell, I'd had to sell the uh, automated reloader to get. What did I sell the automated reloader to get? The hacking, I think it was? Yeah, it was the hacking. Since we already had the double, the glade beam and I would have had to sell that. Okay. It is sad, though, to have every piece. It's like getting uh, three automated reloaders and three flax. You're like, just that one thing away from the, uh, from the full meme, man. I guess, you know, there is one other small, very small chance of getting a pre-igniter. And you know what that is? That is a boss fight pre-igniter. You can actually get a... I think you can actually get an augment from the boss fight. So there is a very small chance that we get it from, like, the first phase of the boss or something like that. Did I see that jump? I did see that jump. That has happened once. You had that happen once? Yeah. There's still hope. Still hope. Hold out hope that the boss will just decide to drop a flak, uh, a flak, a uh, pre-igniter for us. Oh my god, double boarding drones. Okay. Um, this actually really sucks because he's gonna get the doors and immediately go into piloting, or into weapons here. Please don't go into weapons. Okay. All right. He went to hack. Hack's pretty bad, too. Will it immediately happen? Okay. It doesn't immediately happen. There is a cooldown. Okay. Okay. All right. I out micro you. Thought you could take out my hacking. 57, 48. Hold. That was a, over 100 scrap from that one freaking fight. Wow. That's amazing. Boss fight pre-igniter equals Sanders 2020 win. What? Very unlikely? Is that what it is? <laughs> it was a fast run? Well... If you have a Glade Beam, you one-shot all your fights. Stores are still out there. Uh, I don't think there's any other stores I can get to. Well, I guess there's a possibility of this being a store, but with the route I've taken, not very likely it stays available, honestly. Okay, so one more dodge. Value, value, value. Do, 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 do. But you're still praying. <laughs> uh, since you don't have missiles or laser weapons, the enemies have conveniently never had defense drones. Uh, do what? Since I don't have lasers or missiles or lasers, 
Enemies completely never had defense drones. Oh, uh, they've had a couple defense drones, I think. They've had a combat two and a defense two I've had to get by. At least once. Damn, was that still too early? I will say, though, one of the major major issues of Blade Beam is, man, it's hard to get weapon training on the thing. Man, it's hard to get weapon training. Okay, good. We got the full damage there. I think it's hilarious how the two combat drones went for the same room like normal boarders do. Yeah, I, it's, I guess it's coded that any enemy boarders are always going to go to try to join up, I guess. I mean, I guess since there's a possibility of that being a store, I go here now rather than get an extra scrap. I really wish I get extra power. Do I get backup battery? Upgrade to the door. You know what? I'm going to get the backup battery upgrade. Okay. Hey, what's up, Scottish Pingu? Double Glade Beam seems pretty sweet. It does. We just didn't quite get the full meme of the pre-igniter. It is so close to the full meme. Gilnario still believes the game stacks the deck against you weapon and system-wise on enemies. X-Files music. <laughs> Please don't hack my weapons. My control hack. I'll take that. I will take that. Um, actually, I might be able to... Just vent him out to get out. Is that what I want to do? No, I don't have manning bonus for, for dodge if I do that. So I'm going to do it this way. Okay, good. One way pretty fast. All right, we have to wait for the second cloak, I think. Pretty sure I have to wait for second cloak for uh, glade beams. But we can start the hack in the middle of the cloak, basically. And hope he doesn't missile my damn weapons. Damn it. Stop getting my doge guy. Okay. I just don't want him to fire the missiles while... Okay. Beautiful. Okay. So I believe that's a one-shot. Very nice. I believe. I know that Glade Beam's a one-shot. We've experienced this before. All right. Phase one down, zero damage. There will be a full meme another time. For this build, I don't know, Scottish Pingu. I think I think I did get it one other time, didn't I? Like, the first time I did it was the video on YouTube that probably everybody here has seen. Um, I think I did do a second time on hard mode. I remember some other guy saying making a comment on that video saying, didn't even do it in hard, uh, only playing on easy. What a joke or something like that. And so I set out to do it on hard mode, and I think I did do it on hard mode. You know what? Even if this door had a pre-ignite, I wouldn't have been able to afford it. So I'm not sure why I... Whoops. Why I would still think I have a chance for that. Go. Man, the freaking boarding drones are too damn high. Number of boarding drones in this game are too damn high. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right, so we're going to do one shot and then the second shot because it's that 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 uh bullshit right there just blocked like nine damage right there, I think. We're going to OP drone. 25 scrap. Come on, game. Jesus. It's like, I already gave you 100 for that one jump. What do you want from me? I want you to give me 100 for every jump. Cat. Not hard mode, no pause. Not even a real achievement. I know, right? Not even a... Didn't even play the video game. Why do you even play the game if you don't play hard mode, no pause? Freaking hell. Not even worth. Not watching. Unsubscribe, unfollow. All right, max doors. Doodle -doo 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 -doo. Okay. Yeah, why are you even watching me? Y'all should stop. <laughs> Go away. You're all bothering me. I, I'm not even good. You're making me nervous. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. Where are you going? So glad you didn't go into my piloting. So let's go here, here, and here. 
What's my YouTube? Type exclamation point YT, I believe, will give you the link. Should be pretty easy. It's Rand118. <laughs> YouTube slash Rand118. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this, I guess. All right. So is this a one shot? To one shot all three phases, right? God, it's been so long since I've had this. I can't remember. Yes. It's 24 damage, right? Four rooms, three damage each. Six damage each, six times four. So yeah, it's a 24 damage. Only phase it's not a one shot is the final phase because he's got his uh, Zoltan Shield we have to get through. Play into the breach, no pause. <laughs> You have to play with your hands? It's like a baby's toy. You should play with your face. Only nose button pressing is what the real players do. Okay. Is there not a command for YouTube? There should be one. Um, Let me check. There it is. Okay. Do, do, ba, do, 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 ba, do, 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 30 scrap, anything I can get? Nothing. All right, so follow him. Got to deal with borders. Learn how to play a hard mode watching this stream. You've had the game since it came out and never once got to win a hard until a few, a few weeks ago. Nice, Facto. Well, grats, grats on that. This is not an easy game, even when you played it for years. Although, you having played it for years and not gotten a hard mode difficulty run seems like... You maybe should have started watching experienced players sooner, but, you know, I won't judge. <laughs> Even though I kind of just ju judged you. Um, okay, so. Go ahead and cloak this one. I think it's a little greedy. I'm going to do it because I think we're most likely going to run anyway. I think it might last long enough. Okay, one shot that. Very nice. Oh, does it actually last long enough? Level three? Beautiful. B A beautiful. Okay, so let's get our hacking going. And this should be a thing where we don't have to run away and come back. The only way it would be is if somehow he uh if he missiles my weapons right now. Or my hacking and stops the hacking from being a full hack kind of thing. But I think... think you're too late, sir. There it is. GG! Stealth Cruiser victory! That's a GG cookie time. Stealth C, double glaive beam. So close to the pre-igniter, but couldn't find it. Just couldn't find it. I, we didn't even see one that run. We didn't see it in any of the stores, so... GG, what a run. <laughs> no swag centers, all is lost. Now you have most of the ships unlocked on hard mode. Um, and most of the achievements, nice. Yes, that was me that typed YouTube. That was that was me. You're welcome. <laughs> Watching experienced players help. Do I know any? Yeah, I know lots. They um, One's even bald. Wears glasses. His name's Farb. You should check him out. <laughs> um, also, the, the one I learned FTL from was uh, Lethal Frag. Let's check the score. Lethal Frag was the one I learned from. Uh, thank you for the gifted subs, Rickard. That's super nice. Did y'all hear that the old lady that accidentally sent an invite to the random guy for Thanksgiving has died due to Corona? Oh my god. That's crazy. Alright. 57.39. Not a bad score. So, Scribble and Vrenshurg. Welcome to the randoms, courtesy of Rickert. Oh my god, and $3 from Gilnario. <laughs> Good run, chef's kiss. What's a chef's kiss? That was chair stream, chair stream time, best time. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for that donation, Gilnario. Appreciate that. All right, my friends. Well, I started with the Stealth B, because I thought it might take me off stream to get the Stealth B win, but that was a really good run. So again, don't quit your run if you have one bad ship in Sector 1, unless it's just completely over. Because we were able to recover that pretty well. So thank you all for hanging out. Hope you're enjoying the FTL. If anybody new to the stream, please do follow. Hope you are having a good time. We only have one ship left to unlock, and that's the Stealth B. Uh, not Stealth B. 
Crystal Bee. So we're going to work on that next. So again, y'all are amazing. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, quick success worth of ads will have AFK. And then we're going to have to work on getting some crystal achievements. So y'all rock. See you in a bit. Thanks for hanging out, my friends.